What's up everybody, today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Google Nest thermostat in a house that was built in 1984. So this may be a video for you if you have an older thermostat with only four wires. We do not have a C wire, but we also have a Nest controller wire that we can show you later on on how to hook up to your HVAC so you can have one. I'm going to walk you through all the installation processes step by step to show you how to connect the Google Home app to seamlessly control through your phone or even your voice with Google or Alexa. So whether you're new to smart home devices or upgrading your current setup, the video has got you covered. So let's get started. What's good everybody on today? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to install this Google Nest thermostat. And this particular version has six different wires, YCW, GR, and then it's got the extra OB. Now, our old thermostat is from 1984, I believe. This is a Honeywell. And this one's got five wires right there. So this particular thermostat has WYG, C, then there's RR. Now this is connected to these pins right here. So once we hook these up, we simply put the thermostat on, it clips and it will turn on. The batteries themselves are to power the thermature and temperature and the functionality with Google Hub. Now, if you don't have a C cable, you're gonna need this. This is the Nest power connector. So this is a C wire substitute for Nest thermostat. So this essentially you will use if you don't have a C wire, but we do have the C or wire. And C wire is very important. All right. So the first thing we wanna do on our old one is we wanna remove these wires. And by the way, take a picture so in case you screw up, you know exactly where to put them back. Otherwise you may get a little confused. Assuming you already have a way to mount this, the way to get these cables in is you press down. See, when you press this down, these spots open. So you insert the cable in there and then you let go and that's gonna keep the cable in place. All right, so before you remove all of them, I'm gonna show you how to do this. So basically once all the wires are removed and all the plates are gone, you're gonna feed the, all the cables to this hole here. Make sure that the bubble is obviously straight. And then these are your mounting points. So you're going to go and put a screw in here and here, attach it to the drywall, or in our case, we're going to drill through the tile. Next, take each cable and one by one, press down on the tab and then press it in to the hole right here. And press it in and let go. This will keep the wire from coming out. And then repeat the process for the CY, GR, and if you have a heat pump, the CB, OB. All right, so when you're done, this is what it should look like. Again, this is all without the C wire. So we are pretty much ready to go. The wire is pushed in. And now we are ready to put this on. We'll need two batteries. And we are gonna be scanning this QR code when we're still in the setup. Now these six corresponding pins are gonna plug in to these six spots and that's how it's gonna pick up all the settings. So let's do that right now and add our device. So we should see power at the very least. All right, so this will happen even if you don't plug the system in. The batteries are essentially just gonna start the system up and this is gonna try connecting to the Wi-Fi. So there you go. Wi-Fi temporarily disconnected during power test. Gives you a link. So there you go. Um, so let's go and uh, set this up. Now right away, what you're gonna notice is that the system should be working. Cooling should be working, heating should be working. Now, you will get an error on your app when you configure this about the C-Wire. They do say on some systems that the cooling may actually be not cooling correctly and heating may not be heating correctly. So we just lowered the heat to 16.5 and you can see the indoor temperature is 24.5. So I'm going to go and run this for maybe half hour and we'll see if we get down to around 22. If we do, the other cooling is working. And just for kicks, I did put my foot over the vent and I can feel that there's cool coming and I can hear the AC outside. So we do know it's working. We could obviously crank this back up to heating um, to do that. Well, we got to basically attach this with the screws, but um, I haven't done that quite yet. But we could switch it to heat simply by swiping. See that? So let's go to heat and then you tap and then we can just increase. Let's go higher than 24, obviously. There you go, I can hurt my AC outside, just turn off. So let's see if that works. Now it says heating. So now my AC turned off and now the furnace is gonna kick in. And it's working. So the heat is working, the cooling is working without the C-wire. All right, so it's telling us to continue to set up in the Google Home app after we did a fresh factory reset. Now we've already hooked all this up. By the way, when you configure this, it's gonna lead you through every step of the wiring as well. So let's just then go do that. So we just went to Google Home, clicked Add Device, and we click Thermostat. It asks us for a QR code, and we basically scanned it. All right, so we just got connected. One thing to note is that 
we actually had a uh, wire with the R and RC. Every time we actually said that we have an RC cable, it said that the system is not compatible. So I did not put RC and then it worked. It allowed me to continue, otherwise it's going to say it's incompatible. So if you're having that issue, don't put RC and then it's going to continue. And then connect it back in the base and click. So now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're going to basically continue and say I configured the Wi-Fi. All right, so the next step is going to be what is your heat source? So we have electric, first air, and do your heating. All right, I think that's it. Connecting to your device. Okay, my little Wi-Fi thing still crossed out though. Set up Wi-Fi. So let's see if this fixes it. Connecting. Okay, for networks. Again, it's connecting to our regular Wi-Fi that's already in here. Wi-Fi, and let's see if it connects, better connect. Remember, we still don't have the C-wire and the RC cable, and it's still working. One of the things you can do, of course, is you can go and select your temperature to save money on the electricity bill. So you can set it to, for example, at a certain time to turn it on. So we're going to set custom, and we're going to heat to 21. Start AM to cool to... 22 and then you can do the different schedules for different days of the week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday so you can see and then you can also do routines so for example if you're away you can say you know hey Google I'm away and it's gonna set a different type of temperature than actually your even your schedule all right and now it tells you how to basically operate so swiping up and down um, you can change the temperature unless you actually go into this menu so to get in the menu you tap and that's it and now in our devices we're going to see hallway thermostat mode 23.5 and when we woke up 23.5 there you go heating cooling works quick 30 minute setup we didn't even have to go and configure anything we still need to add a dc wire so we're going to go and do that in the next video thanks for watching and happy cooling and heating and it looks so much better doesn't it